I want to talk to you about disaster ethics. I teach a module called Ethics in a Crisis. With the ongoing global pandemic, we know that there are big issues to deal with. Who gets a vaccine? How quarantining is enforced? Prioritization in hospitals? Distribution of food supplies? But disaster ethics extends beyond the pandemic. First, what is ethics? Think of ethics as a lens. When we put on a pair of glasses, the situation or object we're looking at doesn't change, but we do see it differently. Likewise, when we apply ethics to a situation or event, we're looking at what should happen or how we should act. Ethics can therefore be defined as a system for understanding and applying what is right and wrong to particular situations and actions. An emergency is some harmful or dangerous situation, but it doesn't always mean that there's a serious disruption to the functioning of a community or society. That's where a disaster comes in. A disaster, according to UN Disaster Risk Reduction, is a serious disruption to the functioning of a community or a society due to hazardous events interacting with exposure or vulnerability and capacity, leading to maybe human, material, or economic and environmental losses and impacts. Okay, then a crisis. Well, the definition varies. It obviously has a lot of the same components as a disaster or emergency. I like to think of it as long-term or ongoing. There's no one single trigger event like there is in an emergency or disaster. Think climate crisis or financial crisis. In my module, I cover disasters, crises, and emergencies. Finally, I get to disaster ethics. Disaster ethics is an applied ethics, meaning it's not just theory. It's ethical guidance for how we should act in an emergency, disaster, or crisis. In this way, it's a massive field. Bioethics, pandemic ethics, humanitarian ethics, of course. But I think this also needs to consider what businesses, lawyers, police, and the general population should do in disaster situations. Human life should be prioritized over the economy. But once we have saved everyone, there does need to be an economy for us to return to. Vulnerable groups should have some privileged place in how we develop policy. But how do we balance those needs with the needs of larger proportions of the population in acute situations? Disasters, we say, are usually caused by some trigger event and the interaction that has with some socio-political economic problem. So how should we respond to a disproportionate number of deaths in a poorer community, for example, when the trigger event, a flood, a pandemic, has actually just exposed structural inequalities and injustice in our peacetime society? Complex emergencies, or those termed black swan events, the ones we didn't see coming, might need an entirely new type of response, and hence ethical decision making. Disaster ethics is an amazing discipline that tells us to prepare for disasters and shows us how to do so ethically.